Hey everybody, it's Darcy and I'm the Bad Artist. Hope you're having a great day. Well, the good news is you don't have to see my face this video. Um, we're working on a sun conure. Um, I had a couple of them fly in the house. You might be able to hear them in the background. They won't be quiet. Neat little birds. They're um, born in the sort of, I'm just going to say South America in the Brazil area. They unfortunately are considered uh, on the endangered list. Um, mostly because of uh, mankind getting into their habitat area. But also because people tend to uh, grab these things and pluck out their feathers to sell their feathers because of the, uh, the bright colors and the gold colors of their feathers, which is way too bad. Um, recently got introduced to this from my friend um, Steve Smith. So this is for Steve. Um, they're kind of neat. They, um, they actually live anywhere from 15 to 30 years, which is kind of crazy. Um, people can have them as pets. They did come out to try and conserve numbers um, where you can't have um, live um, pets brought over from foreign lands, these sun conures, so they actually have to be bred by breeders. Um, interesting fact about them, which is kind of trivial, is they have a sort of a gray circle around their eye, um, but if they're kept... Um, if they're kept in, indoors and domesticated, that gray circle turns white. So a lot of times what happens is if people are looking into these birds and where they came from, they'll look at the circle around their eyes. And if it's gray, it means that they were brought in from um, just outside in nature and prop might not uh, have gotten there legitimately. But if they're white, that means they were bred in uh, captivity, which is weird. Um, the plumage is always uh, the same. They uh, mate in pairs and they stay in pairs uh, for their whole lives. So they're monogamous that way. Um, they are uh, fiercely protective of their babies, which is kind of cool. Uh, the mother does a lot of their rearing, but the uh, apparently the father will get pretty, uh, pretty angry at predators and anyone going around. Um, they tend to be chewing birds with their strong beaks. And um, the mother would just sort of uh, actually happens to help break the egg open when they're when they're hatching, just to make sure the little birds get out in time. And then they they sit around with their eyes closed, and uh, mom and dad feed them for the next ten days until they start sprouting feathers. Um, another neat thing they um, they're good flyers, but they they don't sort of they just fly directly from one point point A to point B, as opposed to just sort of flying around. So they're they're known as direct flyers. Um, they travel in flocks and it's kind of neat some of the pictures I looked up while doing this video would show like nine or ten of them sitting on a branch and they all look almost identical with uh, the same sort of plumage uh, for example all their uh, long tail feathers are always uh, yellow uh, with a little bit of green but have blue tips on the end and they're always identical to that so they don't vary um, much in terms of the colors, even though uh, they are beautiful birds that way. They um, are very social birds. If you start growing them in captivity and um, you have them one as a pet, they tend to, uh, it's been proven that they tend to like listening to music and they will sort of um, dance to the music and they're very friendly to their owners. They can be treated, uh, sorry, trained a lot of different tricks to do. Um, and once one of these birds gets to know people, they're, they're rather friendly to them, but they do not like strangers coming in. It's almost like a little guard dog that flies. Um, pretty vocal. As you can hear in the background, it's a, uh, one of their traits is if the birds get lost from their flock, they uh, actually start, they call it screaming. Uh, just very high-pitched uh, bird sounds until eventually the other birds in the flock hear it and then they start calling it back and then it gets back into its flock where it sort of uh, basically stays its whole entire life. So, uh, other than that, it was really a fun drawing. Um, I kept away from using the marker. I'm going to try and do that more often. I have another bird coming up next. It's going to be a, a penguin. And, um, 
Other than that, uh, really appreciate the comments. We've been stuck on 196 subscribers for a while now, so hopefully I can start pumping these out again. We had a little bit of a break here <laughs> because of Mother's Day and because of several bad tries at uh, various paintings that I was uh, basically too embarrassed to publish. So listen, have a great day. Hope you're doing well. Um, into spring here. I'm going to actually try and do a lot more birds and again get into the fish. Got a couple of requests still. Um, the next one will be the bitter staff penguin, the king penguin coming out. But um, hope you're having a good day and you take care and please like, subscribe and share if you can. Thanks very much. Take care.